Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's apply what we've just learned in the previous video on this example. So we're trying to find the value for x. And wow, here we have an angle over here, and we don't have these two angles because we're given the, the, uh, in, the what we call intersected arcs from A to D, and I guess I'll put some letters on there so it makes it easier. How about from E to F? So we know what these are. We know that the measure of the arc from E to F is equal to 29 degrees, and we know that the measure of the arc from A to D is equal to 47 degrees. And if I mark this angle right here, let's call this angle Y degrees, then from the formula that I know, I can say that the measure of the angle of Y degrees, of course, uh, well, of the angle, let's see, the angle B, let's call it the angle B. No, we can't call it the angle B. Uh, let's see here. Mate, let's do it like this. So I can say that the measure of this angle right here, which is y degrees, must be equal to one half times the sum of these two arcs right here. So that would be 29 degrees plus 47 degrees. So that's the formula that we have. And um, then we can say, well, this is equal to one half times, that would be 76 degrees and half of that would be equal to 38 degrees. But that is the angle over here where I have the value for y, but I don't have the value for x. Now I do know that x and y are what we call supplementary angles, so therefore we can say that x plus y must equal to 180 degrees, so therefore x degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus y degrees. And we know the value for y, so this is equal to 180 degrees minus 38 degrees, so therefore this is equal to 142 degrees. And that is how we figure out what the value for x is. So again, we use this formula right here, where we say that the angle here is equal to half the sum of the intersected arcs right here on both sides. We sum them up, we take half of that value, that will be equal to the angle right here, and then of course we know that these two angles add up to 180 degrees to find for the value, the value of x. And that is how it's done.